Hello everyone and today I'm gonna show you 8 really cool things that you probably don't know you can do in C or C++. So make sure you have windows.h included on top of the file because we are gonna need that today. So let's get started. Set console title. Now this function will take an, an string as a parameter and will change the console title to that string. So you can do set console title and then you can pass in any string that you want to be the title of the console so you can go hi hello and then you can close that and after calling this function the title of the window will change so if we compile this and run this you can see that the title of the window has been changed to hi hello and exclamatory mark set foreground window now this function will take in an h wind and this will move the window which we have passed in to the front and it will set the focus to that window so for this we need to create object of h wind and we'll name it anything we want we can name it hw and we'll set it equal to find window and we'll give class name as notepad so in window name we can pass in null and after that you can call set foreground window so it will take an h win you can pass hw in it and you can compile it and run it now i haven't opened the notepad window so let me quickly open it now this window is opened and will compile it and run it now you can see that the notepad window popped up on the front and this thing also exited so that's how you use set foreground window set double click time and this takes in an event which is time in millisecond and this changes the double click time so this is also paired with get double click time which will fetch the double click time so we can create an int name it i then we can use get double click time and we can print i and this is in milliseconds after that we can set double click time and we can pass in i because i don't want to change my settings so this can be any amount from 0 to 5000 which means 5 seconds so yeah now we can compile this and run this and you can see it entered 500 which is the default double click time and it also changed it to 500 which means it did nothing so yeah swap mouse button now this function takes an boolean value false will set the left as primary and true will set right as primary now you can also get the value means which button is primary using get system matrix with sm swap button parameter so you can go ahead and call swap mouse button and then you can pass in get system matrix with sm underscore swap button and you can invert it so it will reverse the current state now if you compile it and run it nothing visual happens but if i right click it will register as primary and if i left click it will register as secondary and now i have to run it again now after i run it again it will reset the changes because we are just inverting the thing and there are only two states that it can be in so that's how you swap mouse button click cursor now this function will take in and rec and this function will clip the cursor means it won't allow the cursor to move outside the rec and this will only work till the calling thread is alive so you can make a object of rec and you can name it anything you want i will name it rc and then we'll use set rec to initialize it so over here you can pass in and rc then the coordinates so x of the first point will be 10 and then y will be 10 you can put any values over there i'm just putting the random values so 10 10 and 500 500 after that you can call flip cursor and you can pass in and rc now after you call this function the mouse movement will be restricted to the red itself so if i compile this and run this you can see that i can't move my cursor outside the red it's just locked in over there and once you press alt f4 or you close the window that restriction has been removed 
slash window now this function takes an h wind and a boolean and this function after being called will flash an orange color to the window so you can see that i have notepad window opened over here and after we call the function you can see that it will turn orange now first thing you got to do is create a object of h wind and name it anything you want i will name it hw and set it equal to find window and then the class name which is notepad for our notepad window now window name will be null so now hw is handle of notepads window now we can call the flash window function and then pass in hw and over here if you pass in true then it will start flashing and if you pass in false then it will stop flashing if it's already stopped it won't do anything so we'll pass in true and we'll compile this and run this so now you can see that notepad window has a orange glow and once you click it it goes away so that is for the flash window function move window now this function takes in the h wind of the window and coordinates and repaint which is a boolean if true that will cause the window to repaint or else it won't repaint it's suggested to keep it true but you can set it to false so for this we will create object of h1 and then we can name it hw and we'll set it equal to find window and we'll pass in class name which is notepad and we'll pass in window name which will be null now once we get that we can use set foreground window to bring it in front so that we can see the work of move window so we'll use hw and you don't need to call set foreground window but i'm calling it so that you can see it move now we can call the main thing which is move window and we can pass in hw and x and y of the window so i'm gonna pass 10 and 100 and then width and height i will pass 400 and 500 and repaint i will pass true so this will bring window over on the corner top corner over here tell somewhere over here and uh, yeah this will resize as well so if we keep and delay over here sleep one second so we can see it change the position now we can compile and run this and you can see that it's over there and move over there and the program exits tile window now this function will tile all the open windows inside and specify direct and if it's not specified it will tile over the desktop so you can also specify other parameters as well which will change the tiling accordingly but i'm just gonna cover how to tile all the windows so you can tile, tile windows and then you can pass in null then in u and w how you can pass in this many values over here you can see and i'm gonna pass pass in vertical so copy paste then the rec and uh, you can pass in any rec you want but i'm gonna pass in null and then null again and after that we have to give an other null as well so after you run this you can see that it tiled all the windows on the screen precisely so yeah and you can change the tiling properties accordingly but uh, this is what i'm gonna show for this function you can explore it so that was it for today's video and hope you guys have enjoyed it and if you did don't forget to press that thumbs up button and also consider subscribing it helps a lot and bye bye